Hello, uh, I've been asked to um, recommend a mix for tench fishing. Um, I'm assuming it's on commercial waters. Um, what I normally use is just half a bag of, well, we're going on a kilo, half a bag of expander gold, half a bag of marine shellfish, uh, roughly about half a bag, 250ml of uh, grilled hemp, and probably 100ml of blood meal. As I said in the previous video, if you're using sweet stuff, you have to be a bit careful with stuff like blood meal. Not really a problem, you can put as much as you want in really, but around about 100 mil is about right. Um, see that I normally add for loose food particles, just like a uh, chopped worm, castor, hemp, pellets, corn, you name it, anything really. Uh, I don't normally tend to put live bait in there apart from the chopped worm obviously. Uh, it seems to attract all the small fish and I don't really want that if I'm going for, for the bigger fish. Um, the way I mix it is obviously put the contents in a bucket, it's like half a bag of marine green, half a bag of gold pro and put, you can actually put the blood meal in water and then mix it up but it doesn't really matter really but ideally if you use the blood mill just do it like two days before put it in a little mixing container like a measuring jug or whatever and just uh, put that in put some water in it and then it does smell a little bit after a while but that's the whole idea um that's the way i normally do it but if, if you're just going out on a match or a present session the same day the one day you can just do it dry it doesn't matter um yeah like i was saying um just mix it all dry And then what I normally do is I'll add, I'll take the juices out of a tin of corn, take the juices out of the hemp, put all that into a, a separate um, bait box or something. Then add a little bit more water to that so you've got the right amount of water to mix the, the ground bait with. Um, when you're mixing it, just go a little bit easy with it because you can get it wrong but if you mix it up like I do the three stages um, you could just do do one mix then when it gets slightly damp just let it set for about half an hour and then just go and set your kit up or whatever then riddle it off with it have to be small holes just like normal two and a half three mil riddles um yeah then just repeat the process go back wet it again and then by the third time it should only take about five minutes and it'll be done <coughs> um, you can actually make it really heavy depending on how deep you're actually fishing for example on the pole i don't really want it too heavy if you know what i mean um but obviously if you're using it on a feeder then you have to kind of go a little bit easier and um, not add too much water otherwise it won't come out the feeder obviously you can actually use it on the, the method feeder too um, if i was doing that i'd go a bit easier on the the, the grilled hemp because that kind of helped that all helps it break up so go a little bit easier with the the grilled hemp just leave a little no i don't know put half of as much put about 100 mil in there if you want that'll do and obviously leave the loose feed, part, uh, loose feed particles out because you don't really need them on a method feeder. Um, yeah, that's about it really. Just uh, once you've riddled it all off, you can just poke up. Poke up it out into the swim, no problem at all. Um, just trying to think. Uh, yeah, like I said, the, the, the important thing is, is just don't use like a really small pinky riddle or anything because it's kind of, you don't need to do that for big fish. They're there and they will actually eat the ground bait, so leave the bigger particles in. Um, that's about it. Um, any more questions, just comment below and I'll answer it in another video. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. Bye.